around the year 185 BCE just 50 years after emperor ashok brihadrat the ninth of mauryan emperors was inspecting his army one day he was accompanied by his commander in chief pushyamitra shunga the mauryan empire by now was not as strong as it was in the time of ashok it was politically unstable as six mauryan kings got throned and dethroned in a short span of just 50 years change was hence inevitable and pushyamitra shunga was about to bring it brihadrat maurya was assassinated by him the shungas were now the new emperors of magadh mauryans once rulers of the whole of india and defeaters of alexander's successors had fallen the news sent out shock waves throughout south asia the huge power vacuum created by this one event set off new dynasties rising their heads in india in the north indo greeks invaded in the east the chedis took command and in the south the satvahans grew stronger For the next few centuries these powers both native and foreign to India remained in mutual tussle in this series we will have an overview of each of these powers and their mutual interplay in the history of India the post Mauryan period According to Ashok Vadan Pushyamitra Shunga aspired to be more revered than Ashok and erase what ashok had achieved and so he ordered the destruction of the stupas ashok had constructed and started persecution of the buddhist monks that he had patroned his destruction reached as far as sakla today sialkot to sanchi and probably up to koshambi near today's alahabad Whatever may be the reason Pushyamitra's activities infuriated the Greek neighbors Consequently Demetrius their king invaded India But why was a Greek foreigner agitated by the happenings in India In the next video we will discuss the links Bactrian Greeks had with India and what was the result of the conflict between shunga and the greeks